Each fall across America's heartland, countless fields are toiled by farmers and their tractors. Or in this case, just the tractor. That's insane. There's no one driving that. There's no one driving it. <laughs> Mike and Betsy Rowland own West Bureau Farms in central Illinois, one of at least 18 states where farmers this year are testing state-of-the-art AI tractor technology. A rural response, perhaps, to the self-driving cars increasingly spotted in major cities. <laughs> Here, Mike and Betsy start their high-tech tractor from an iPhone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and save hours of work. Over the weekend, I set it loose on the field, and then I went home, did some laundry, went and got groceries. Before, it was you or me running this thing at 9, 10, 11, midnight, and you're exhausted. This can run by itself and I can go home and go to sleep. The tech, courtesy of agriculture giant John Deere, who's planning a nationwide rollout next year. This has cameras mounted 360 degrees around the roof of the cab. The massive machine navigates using satellites and cameras. <laughs> Ooh. See, there you go. That is jarring. Yeah. That stop it when they spot possible obstacles. The goal, to address deeply rooted problems helping drive up food prices, including a mounting labor shortage and an aging industry. The average American farmer is 58 years old. They can actually let technology operate the tractor while, you know, Betsy, Mike, others in their operation focus on maybe higher value tasks. Mike and Betsy add this innovation hasn't replaced any jobs on their farm, just offered breathing room during the busy harvest. This is the future of farming. I mean, it, it this truly is. This is the future of farming. Absolutely. Yes. Mm. Mm. I mean, okay, no. but a lot of people are looking at that and saying, wait a minute, what Blake is this? Blake Shelton is spitting his coffee I mean, out right, right there. He lives but, in a John Deere. But we, of course, but also farmers, farm workers, what does this potentially mean for their livelihoods? Yeah, for sure. So that skepticism exists in this field like in any other, frankly. And Betsy and Mike, who we talked to, said farmers just around them have come up to watch the driverless tractor and some of them aren't on board. And actually, one instance in California, state regulations right now currently prohibit driverless tractors. There's that battle there. There is one important note. According to John Deere and according to our own research, there's been no instances of injuries or any sort of safety issues tied to these driverless tractors, which addresses uh, one potential concern. Concern, but for all of those reasons, how big or how common a factor this becomes in growing our food, guys, only time will tell, of course. Yeah. Huh. Maggie. I don't like driverless things. Thank I'm you, just going to say it. It makes sense with a tractor, though, because there's just less around it. But when yeah. you see an autonomous car on Broadway, it's, it's, you know, there's no one driving it. I feel like every time we do one of these AI stories, it just reveals the complexity of it. Because if you've got this legitimate labor shortage in, in, in the farming industry, and the average age of a farmer is close to 60, yeah, you gotta, you know, how do you fill the gap, you know? How do you make up for, I don't know. I don't know. Is it 6-7 though? Is it one of those? It, it is, 6-7. Six, seven. Yeah. Right. Six, oh my God, seven. are you covering agriculture for CNBC as a Whoa, side hustle? No. I'm impressed. South Carolina. Very impressive. Yeah, make Thank a good you. point. Yeah, good point. All right, Al, what do you got? Not replacing, Six, not seven. replacing this. Oh, this is all, all replaceable. In fact, I've replaced a lot of parts already <laughs> in there. As it is, so let's see what we got going on. Green Acres is the place to be. Far living is the life for me. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.